the function f is defined by f of x is x cubed. Find an expression for g of x in terms of x in each of the following cases. A. f of g of x is x plus 1. And to be more clear, it looks like f of g, it's a composite function, is x plus 1. And what does it mean? It means we should take a function f and substitute this expression in uh, uh, the parentheses for x. So it becomes, since uh, f of x is x cubed, so we substitute uh, an expression uh, for g or just g for x. Uh, so it becomes g cubed is x plus 1. And we need g of x. So you can see that uh, you can just solve for g. So it becomes uh, just uh, like an equation. So it becomes cubed root of x plus 1. In the first way. Uh, the other or another way is uh, uh, to use uh, an inverse function. Uh, so if we apply. So let me rewrite again. F of g of x is x plus 1. If we apply an inverse on both sides, it looks like this. And by definition, f of inverse or inverse of f, uh, of f is just this argument. So f of inverse of x is x or inverse of f of x is x. In general, if uh, there is something else here, it will be uh, the same here. So, or it's uh, like inverse and uh, f cancel each other, so we get directly g of x is inverse of x plus 1. And we can find directly uh, uh, an inverse for f it's uh, not difficult here, uh, so how to find uh, an inverse uh, for usual function f is x cubed or f is y, and to find the inverse, uh, uh, we interchange x and y, uh, so it becomes x is y cubed, and we solve for this new y, and it's quite easy, it's just uh, cubed root of uh, x, and this new y is inverse function in terms of x. And we need inverse all x plus 1. And what does it mean? We should substitute x plus 1 for x into the expression uh, for the inverse. So it becomes the cube root of x plus 1. Or if we don't want to find the inverse, or if it's uh, difficult, or it may be not required uh, to find the inverse, we can set uh, a question uh, with respect to usual functions. So if we consider the inverse, for inverse, uh, we need y value of the inverse for given x, x is uh, something x plus 1. But for usual function, it becomes x required and y is x plus 1. So if we take a usual function, what's usual, uh, just function f, it's x cubed. So, if we consider x cubed, y is x plus 1, so x plus 1 is x cubed, and we need just solve for x. So, we can see that x is cubed root of x plus 1, and this expression in terms of x directly is the required answer. So, we write cubed root of x plus 1. B. G of f is equal to x plus 1. So an unknown g of f of x, it, it is given, so it becomes that unknown function, or uh, we don't know an expression for g, we should find it, and it's, it's required to find an expression for g, so it looks like g of x cubed is equal to x plus 1. So if we need g of just x, but it is given a g of uh, uh, such more core or, or uh, some more complicated 
argument is equal to something how to find uh, g of x we can use the next technique let this complicated argument be t so let denote x cubed to be t and you solve for rex in terms uh, of t here it becomes just x is cube the root of t and then we substitute this expression in terms of t for x on uh, the right hand side of, for the value of a function so it becomes uh, g o t is equal to x is cubed root of t plus 1 and a letter uh, name uh, doesn't matter because it's important that we get just g of t but I can rewrite g of u is cubed root of u plus 1 uh, and I can just uh, rewrite in terms of x so g of x is cubed root of x plus 1 and it's the required expression for g of x it's very useful technique there may be another way how to solve uh, uh, such problems but it's the easiest way and uh, that's all for this question